I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to the Sweetwater Minute. This time out, a fast, easy to use mastering app from IK Multimedia. Let's get started. Today we're checking out Lursen Mastering Console from IK Multimedia. Now this is an all-in-one mastering app that can operate standalone or as a plug-in. It supports Mac, Windows, and iOS. Lursen Mastering Console is based on the mastering process used by Gavin Lursen, a mastering engineer in Hollywood. Now Lursen has been mastering for more than 20 years, and he's got tons of credits, major label albums, lots of independent albums, TV shows, films, he has Grammys, Oscar nominations, all sorts of awards for his work. And he has a particular way of working that IK Multimedia has distilled into this app. So let's take a quick tour of this app. It's very easy to use, very fast, and as I mentioned, you can run it either standalone, as I'm running it here, or as a plug-in. We have just one main window for the app. It's right here in front of us. And the way this is set up is we have a mastering chain based on Lursen's mastering chain. It consists of a tube EQ, a solid state EQ, a tube limiter, a solid state de and a solid state compressor. But you'll notice that most of the parameters are hidden. It's set up with the way that he typically uses his processors. You do have a gain reduction meter on the tube limiter, and you do have a threshold control and gain reduction meter on the solid state de -esser. Likewise, on a solid state compressor, we have a threshold control and a makeup gain control in addition to a gain reduction meter. Now, those gain reduction meters allow you to see how much you're squashing your mix so that you don't push too far and start distorting the sound. And having control over the threshold allows you to customize it to the particular song you're working on. But in most cases, you really won't use those controls of those meters much at all. You'll be working down here in the bottom half of the screen. So let's load a song up and see how this works. To load a song, we'll go to the song menu here. We'll add one. I've got one set up here on my desktop. We'll open this up, and now we can look at the waveform. Let's navigate up here to somewhere in the middle, play this back. To get you started and to make the program very fast and easy to use, IK Multimedia and Gavin Lurson have set you up with a number of different presets. There are different musical styles there, so you can apply the preset that's going to closely match the style of music you're working in, and then you can tweak it from there. To open up a preset, we go to this menu, and we have our different categories. Americana Loose, EDM, Hip Hop, and so on. And then within those categories, we have different sub-presets that we can choose. So we can choose more glue, which is going to tighten our mix up more. We could choose a brighter sound, a warmer sound. Uh, the song that I'm working on is sort of a jazz fusion rock song. So let's go down here, and let's use Pop Rock More Glue to be, as our starting point. Most of your work in the Lurson Mastering Console is going to be using two different controls. The input drive control, which sets how hard you're hitting the input of your processors and therefore how much compression and limiting you're getting. And then the push control. Now the push control you can sort of think of as a macro control because what it does is as you turn this, you're turning these five EQ bands down here simultaneously. These are preset to particular settings for that style of music, and as you turn this, they'll maintain the ratio of their settings. So you can see those are all moving in concert along with the push control. So by balancing that input drive control and the push control, you can optimize your mix, and you also have access to the individual EQ bands. So we could go down here and turn up, for example, the 10 kilohertz band without affecting the rest of them. So let me show you what I mean. We'll go back and recall that preset so we have our bass setting here. Start playback. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a loop. So we can listen to the same passage of music over and over again. We simply draw in our loop start and end points, turn on looping, and now when we play back, the song will loop, and we can manipulate our controls. And to optimize our levels, we can turn the input drive control. So let's increase that by about 3 dB. And we can bypass to hear the effect of that. So with that bypass, you can hear that we're already adding quite a bit of processing to our mix. Some EQ is being added, and we've increased the drive, so we've increased some limiting and some compression. Now to tweak the EQ further, we can turn the push control as well as the individual bands. That's how fast and easy it is to use Lurson Mastering Console to work on your mixes. You can dial things in very, very quickly, and yet you still have control to go in and tweak things exactly the way you want them. In addition to bypassing the processing, we have switches for setting what the meters are showing. In this case, they're showing processing. You can also show input levels. 
We can also switch from stereo to mono monitoring so we can check the phase of our mix. Another nice feature for working with these controls is that we can automate the input drive as well as the push control. So we can set those up for different sections of our song. We can have one setting for our verse, another setting for our chorus, another setting for a breakdown. And you do that by turning on automation, opening up our screen here so we can set input, use our pencil tool, So you can see it's very fast and easy to automate the input control, and you can do the same thing with the push control. If you want to delete that information, simply select the range control and hit delete. As you're working on a song or a group of songs, you can save those as a project. You do that up here, so you can open and close those. We can also export, so we can send those out as different song types. Formats include WAV files, AIFF files. We have sample rates up to 96K and bit depths up to 32-bit. There are so many uses for Lursen Mastering Console. You can use it for mastering demos, for mastering your final mixes. You can use it as a plugin and individual tracks. So it really is very versatile. It doesn't take a lot of computer power to run it, so you can run multiple instances if you are running it as a plugin. It's a nice program to have in your musician's toolbox, and it'll really help you enhance your mixes. Thanks for joining me for the Sweetwater Minute. I'm Mitch Gallagher.